All right, kids, we're back. We're gonna tilt our motor up. We've got our bin here. We've got the boat set where I can go pretty close to the bottom of this bin, which is important. Catch all my water and recycle it correctly. Measurements here, we're going two gallons to one gallon. Guys, right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check our pH level our pH testing tool and we're going to check the pH level of the water after rinsing for 24 hours. Of this red line compound is still actually working and cleaning this motor. If you're looking, you know, maybe two to four points and it's going to be done working. So let's give this a shot. Pull this in here. This is some fresh brand new red line. Okay, this tool, we're gonna turn on our pH balancing tool. Get our cap off here. One right now. Three pH level. So if you cycle it through your motor and you check that when you're done and it's at a 2.3 or 2.5 or 3.5, it's done. That product's no longer cleaning. And if it's when you're done, if it's at 3.5, then you still have some cleaning to do. You need to throw it out and when we're done rinsing this it's still at 1.5 or 3 or 6 or something like that and then we know that we completely cleaned out the inside of that engine thermostat out and we're soaking them as a test to see what works better red lime or salt away Back measurements here we're going two gallons uh, motor is the same thing in that engine that electric motor right there up so do not run your pumps without water in them 1.3 pH level so if you cycle it through your motor and you check that when you're done and it's at a 2.3 or 2.5 or 3.5 it's done that product's no longer cleaning it. okay guys I'm getting excited another tip up another tip up here okay I've just uh, rotated everything in and made it more we're gonna plug it in and see if I got enough in there to get it started. And it looks like we're golden. I'm close, so I'll be able to actually slide a lid on here. I'll cut it out and the lid will go around this. And still be, the lid will be open here, of course. And now out of this return from the top, Look at how, how good it's coming out of that. Okay. It's coming out of that really strong. Let's check out our pH tool here. We're sitting here just reading at 1.6. We're gonna go down in here. We started at 0.3. We are now at 1.3. We've gone up an entire point. When we go up to 2.3 to 2.5, we're done. Underneath it with some saran wrap. Last thing you want is some debris flying in here. You tuck this in so the weather doesn't get to it. Pull that up nice and tight. Chances of any leaves or anything getting in here are really slim. And I'm going to use this handle. Take the handle and pop it over like that so you've got it nice and snug. Okay. Now you're good for an overnight. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, now all we're gonna do is just take and we're gonna raise our motor up. It's a pretty cool setup for the cost. It'll just push my bin right back. See how we've cleared everything over here? We can now pull our just clean water. Gonna run this for a couple of minutes. And then put a new fresh rinse of Ridline in there and see what we Okay, so I've got clean water going in. And I've got the return water going out down here, okay? This way this water can go through, circulate through my engine, get all that rid lime out, and then I'm gonna start over with a fresh setup of rid lime and see how clean my motor is. If the rid lime goes in and comes out at the same number, there's nothing else left in the engine. All right guys, I had to put the pump on the outside here. I've got it nice and full, so we're there. We are now at 5.1. It's hard to see, I'll move it around. There's a little bit of fogging in there. 5.0 to 5.1 coming out of my motor. So we've now got it at the same as what it is going in at 5.0. So we're gonna go ahead and dump this water out. And uh, put some red line in and see if it's cleaning at the same amount that's coming out. Okay, we've got fresh red line and fresh two gallons of water. I got two gallons of water, one thing of red line here, and that's the color of red line. You can kind of see, so that doesn't really tell you anything. What's going to tell me something is I know what red line is going in. We're going to see what it is coming out. So. Let me rinse this container off here quick. So let's just catch this red line coming out. Right here. Let's turn this bad boy on. Let's see what we got. So coming out. We are at 1.6, 1.5. Oh, this is awesome, you guys. My motor is spotless clean, 1.4. I'm pretty sure going in, we're at 1.3. 1.4, 1.3. Yeah, 1.3 is exactly what we should be going in. This is miraculous. And it hasn't had time to break down the stuff I have going in, 1.2. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down and go ahead and clean this other motor. It's coming out, what we have is pretty much what's going in. Went down just a little bit more to 1.1. That's good, good job.